Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com In Engineering Mechanics regarding wedge friction, let us do some examples. A block of weight 2000 Newton overlaying 12 degree wedge on a horizontal floor and lying against a vertical wall is to be raised by applying a horizontal force to the wedge. Assuming the coefficient of friction between all the surface in contact to be 0.3, determine the minimum horizontal force required to raise the block. Look at this figure. Here, the wedge is A, B, C and the body lying on that A is D, E, F, G. Now, the horizontal force P is applied here. Now, the first figure, a block, about block D, E, F, G, the second figure is for wedge, wedge A, B, C. Now, now first of all, you will consider the first figure, here, in first figure, that uh, first one, the own weight of the body acting downwards is uh, 2000 Newton. Here it is uh, 2000 Newton acting downwards. And the angle of which is 12 degrees. 12 degrees. Here, the reaction between the body and the wall is R1. This angle between the horizontal to the reaction R2 is phi, angle phi. Here also angle phi. Now, there are, we have to consider its own weight body weight is 2000 Newton acting downward reaction R1 is phi on phase ED reaction on phase ED or D. Now, third one is reaction R2 is a reaction on the face on the face DG of the block. Here, this is the reaction R2 here. Sorry, R1. This R2 here, R1. Now, first let us calculate here the mu, the frictional friction coefficient is 0.3. Just let us calculate here angle phi is. Uh, First angle phi is given as uh, 12 degree and frictional force we can uh, get is suppose uh, here alpha this is alpha here and tan phi equal 0.3 we will calculate for uh, phi degree here in most term 0.3 gives 16.7 degrees therefore phi equal 16.7 degree you got now we will uh, resolving the forces horizontally resolving 
forces horizontally we'll get r1 into cos of 16.7 yeah first we are resolving the for reaction forces r1 horizontally and which is equal to r2 the reaction r2 with sine of angle of uh, which is 12 degree plus the angle of uh, frictional angle is 16.7 which is equal r2 into sine sine of 12 plus 16 is uh, 28.7 28.7 degrees equal use 0.48 into 0 0.4802 here therefore you can write R2 equal R1 into cos 16.7 cos 16.7 equal 9578 0 0.9578 over 0 0.4802 therefore you can write R2 equal then 0.4802 equal 1.994 R1. Now we got the relation between R2 and R1. Now resolving the forces. Forces vertically, we can get R1 into sine 16.7 degrees plus the weight of the body is uh, 2000 Newton equal R2 into cos. 12 plus 16.7 here you can calculate the values sine 16.7 sine 16.7 equal 2874 r1 into 0 0.2874 plus 2000 equal r2 into cos 12 plus 16.7 is 28.7 28.7 cos of 28.7 is 0 0.877 into 0 0.877 1 here we have the relation r2 is in terms of uh, r2 is from 1 we get r2 is 1.994 r1 substitute here therefore we can write r1 into 0 0.2874 plus 2000 instead of r2 we can write 1.994 R1 already this 0.877 into R1 because we are substituting the value of R2 is 1.994 in here therefore we get R1 into 0.2874 into 2000 equal we will multiply 1 
पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फोर इंटू पॉइंट एट सेवन सेवन वन इक्वल वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एट नाइन आर वन नाउ वी हैव देयरफॉर वी कैन कलेक्ट आर वन ऑन साइड वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एट नाइन आर वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट सेवन फोर आर वन इक्वल टू थाउजेंड नाउ वी कैन गेट आर वन इक्वल वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एट नाइन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट टू एट सेवन फोर डिवाइड बाई टू थाउजेंड वी कॉल प्लेट आर वन लाइक टू थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर एट नाइन माइनस पॉइंट टू एट सेवन फोर टू एट सेवन फोर which gives 13 point no 1368.45 newton we got r1 already we have the relation between r1 and r2 that is r2 equal we have the relation 1 point r2 equal to 1.994 r1 वन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फोर आर वन ऑलरेडी वी हैव आर वन एस वन थ्री सिक्स एट पॉइंट फोर फाइव देर फॉर आर टू इक्वल इक्वल पे दैट वन पॉइंट नाइन नाइन फोर इन टू थर्टीन सिक्सटी एट पॉइंट फोर फाइव इक्वल टू सेवन टू एट अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टू सेवन टू एट पॉइंट सिक्स दैट सेवन लेकिन न्यूटन सो वी गॉट आर वन इज़ वन थ्री सिक्स एट पॉइंट फोर फाइव आर टू इज़ टू सेवन टू एट पॉइंट सेवन नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर द सेकेंड फिगर दैट इज वेज वील सॉल्व दिस वन Here the wedge have the reaction R three means the wedge base and the floor, and already this one is uh, this one is R two, and this P. Here R two we have already we put that R two is we two seven two eight. Two seven two eight point seven newton. Now, let us uh, resolve these forces. Here, the three forces are the reaction forces R two and reaction forces R three and load P. will solve resolving the forces uh, vertically now let us uh, resolve the force vertically resolving the forces vertically means sigma v equal to 0 we can get r3 into cos 16.7 here phi angle is 6.7 equal r2 Cos of twelve into sixteen point seven degrees, which is equal R two into cos of twenty eight point seven degrees. Now we'll uh, already we have R two values, therefore R three into cos sixteen point seven. Cos sixteen point seven equal point nine five seven eight point nine five 
seven eight equal R two already we have twenty seven twenty eight point seven twenty seven twenty eight point seven into cos twenty eight point seven cos twenty eight point seven equal zero point eight seven seven one let us calculate these values twenty twenty seven twenty eight point seven into zero point eight seven seven one equal two three nine three point three newton we got or three is uh, two three nine two thousand three hundred ninety three point three newton now now resolving the forces horizontally that means sigma h equal to zero now the force p is equal r two sine because we are uh, sorry r2 sine 12 plus 16.7 degrees plus r3 into sine 16.7 therefore we can get p equal r2 already we have Getting R two is two seven two eight point seven two seven two eight point seven into sine twenty eight point seven plus already R three we have two three nine three two three nine three point three into sine sixteen point seven. Let us calculate this. Two first will so two seven two eight point seven into sine twenty eight sine twenty eight point seven degrees. First, it is equal one three one zero point three eight. Plus, you can put three nine, and the second part is uh, two three nine three, two three nine three into sine sixteen point seven, sine sixteen point seven, equal six eight seven point. Six y. Now we add both. Thirteen. One zero point three nine plus six eight seven point uh, six y equal eight one nine one zero eight. 0.4 approximately 1998 newton therefore this is the minimum force required to push the uh, push the weight that means you have to lift the body is uh, 1998 newton we have done